Come on, game. Just give me one more. There we go. Death coin. I'm hoping I don't do any silly mistake that ends my run. Close those doors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ultimate custom night. We recently played the ultra custom night, and after that video, you guys requested that I should play the ultimate custom night. And you know what? I think it's about time we played this game again. Being back into this menu has got me pretty excited, but pretty nervous at the same time, with 50 animatronics coming to hunt me down. Now, before we get started, you see my 8,000 points at the bottom corner gone. We are starting over from scratch playing this game again. I want to make this a mini series trying to beat my high score of 8,000 points. That is going to be the main goal of the series, to beat my high score of 8,000 points. And I think by the end of the series, we will have been able to do that. But I have another goal in mind, and that is to beat 50-20 mode. I know I can do it. Now, whether I'm going to take the time to actually do it is going to be another question. But I do genuinely want to beat 50-20 mode, and I know that I can do it. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're just going to start off this game from the bottom and work our way up. So the way this series is going to work is I'm not going to add a bunch of animatronics as I want. I want to try to beat all the challenges. I don't know why there's a star up there. But I want to try beat every single one of these challenges. And you can see uh, it starts to get pretty chaotic as that goes on. So what I want to do for this series is to beat all of these challenges right here, possibly start to add up the animatronics and work our way up towards 50-20 mode. So if you guys are excited for this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. It's free, you can unsubscribe at any time, but it really does help me out a lot that you guys stick around and watch these videos. It really does help me out a lot. And thank you guys so much for the support. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the first challenge, Bears Attack 1. So we've got quite a few animatronics here from the looks of it but i don't think it's anything we can't handle so we've got freddy fazbear he approaches from the left hall keep track of him on the monitor and shut the door when he's standing by the doorway he moves faster as the building gets warmer so all we really need to do is keep our camera on freddy and close the door whenever he gets close enough golden freddy is pretty simple all we need to do is flip the mask on or flip up the monitor phantom freddy we just need to flash him with our flashlight nightmare fredbear and nightmare come to the doors so if we hear their laughing or see their eyes in the doorway all we need to do is simply close the doors and they're gone Helpy, we just need to click on him when we see him in the office. Nedbear is an interesting one. He climbs through the duct system, making his way towards you. Use the audio lure or heater to keep him at bay. Okay, so there's two ways to get rid of him. So we can either use the heater or we can use the audio lure. So I'm going to have to pay attention to both of those. Rockstar Freddy, we just need to give him five Faz coins or we can use the heater. So that doubles over with Nedbear. We can use the heater on Rockstar Freddy and Ned Bear. So that's probably what we're going to end up doing. Alton Freddy, we just need to close the vent if we hear his noise. And Lefty is an interesting one. He becomes more active from noise and heat. He is too far away from the music box to be soothed by it, but the global music box can calm him down. Okay, that's going to be interesting. So how all of this is going to go together, I don't know, but we're just gonna get right into it. So we've got all our controls here. I'm pretty sure I remember how all of these work. So we're just going to get right into it. So if I remember correctly, the first thing we're going to want to do is switch off the fan and turn on the global music box for Lefty. Oh. Okay, there was an animatronic there. I think that was Nightmare. I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's just keep the audio lure there. Lefty is going to come there, but we should be all right with him since we have the global music box on. And all we need to do now is keep our camera on Freddy who's right here, slowly making his way towards the office. All right, we've got that on. We need to reset the ventilation. Freddy's coming quite quickly, actually. That's going to be a big deal. We're going to have to pay close attention to this. All right, ventilation's going off. We're going to have to close that door. Ventilation, and we got rid of Freddy. Now, we don't want to use the cameras at all, as that is how we're going to get ourselves killed if we're not careful enough. So what we're going to try do... And there's Molten Freddy. Close the vent. And I think we should be good. Phantom Freddy, go away. And I think we're doing all right. I'm going to close that door again. Reset ventilation and open up that door. And I think we should be all right. Power's going down pretty quickly, however. I might need to turn on the power generator for a quick second. 
Now a big goal of this game is going to try to use the cameras as less as you possibly can as that is how you're going to put your guard down. So what we're going to want to try do is stay in the office the entire night. We don't want to use the cameras as it wastes power and also some animatronics can actually get into the office if we're not paying close attention. Alright, there goes Freddy. I'm not going to BS you with anything. I've played this game many times before. As you saw, my high score is 8,000 points. So I basically know how this game works and what I need to do to prevent the animatronics from getting me. It's just going to be a case of relearning the game. As I said, it's been a year since the last time I played it. So I'm going to be a bit rusty at this, which is why I wanted to start over in the form of a mini series and see how far we can get. And I know that we can beat my high score if I put enough time into this. Oh, there's Helpy. We've got 14% power, so I'm thinking I will turn the... I'm going to turn the power generator on for a second. That might be a bit bad because Lefty might get after me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it on now, then turn it back on when we go into the cameras, and then switch it back on so that way Lefty shouldn't be able to get me if I haven't had have the camera flipped up. So I think that's what I'm going to try do to get rid of Lefty and hopefully conserve as much power as I possibly can. We've got about a minute left and we need to pay close attention to what's happening around us. 2% power left, three seconds left. I think we've got this night all in the bag. That wasn't too bad. Give me my new high score. It's not gonna be as impressive, but 450 points is 450 points. One challenge down, about 20 to go. So that was quite a good run, but there is something I really want to try get better at, and that's power conserving. So you saw that we had the global music box on for the entire night to prevent Lefty from jump scaring us. However, Lefty has a mechanic that is really, really important that we can actually take advantage of and prevent him from jump scaring us. But before I get into that, let's go ahead and move on to Bears Attack 2, where we now have Toy Freddy and Nightmare Freddy. So two more animatronics have been added and everyone else has been bumped up a few notches. So what I want to try to do with Lefty is camera stall him. Lefty is one of the multiple animatronics in this game that you can actually camera stall. And what that means is if we have the camera on Lefty, he can't move. So what we're going to do is we're going to do everything else we need to, but I'm going to keep the camera on Lefty's closet so that way he cannot move. So we're going to have the power generator on and we don't need to worry about the global music box draining our power. The other animatronic that might be a pain, however, is Toy Freddy. What we need to do is click on his monitor to prevent Mr. Hugs from jump scaring Toy Freddy. So I think what we're going to do with Toy Freddy is we're going to try our best to death coin him so that way he's not going to be a big deal and we don't have to worry about going back to his camera every so often to make sure that Mr. Hugs hasn't jump scared him. Because as well, if we go on to his camera, Lefty will jump scare us because we're not camera stalling him. So we need to death coin Toy Freddy for us to be able to beat this night. And Nightmare Freddy I'm honestly not worried about because all we need to do is flash his freddles in the room with our flashlight and they should disappear. So I've already got the strategy down. It should be the exact same as last night. The only difference is going to be we death coin Toy Freddy and we're going to camera stall Lefty and we should be all right with that. So let's go ahead, give this a go and see how well we can do. So I'm going to turn the fan off, power generator on. Let's go ahead and collect 10 Faz coins quickly. I hear people there. Whoa. All right, you're there. Let me actually play Toy Freddy's game for a second so that way we don't get jump scared quite quickly. All right, let's keep on going. I just need a few more Faz coins. Two more. One, two. I hear you there. Death coin. Camera stall him. Done. All right. Now all I need to do is go to the duck system. I'm going to place that there. And we should be good to go. I'm going to shut both of those. Ooh. Okay, I need to turn on the heater. So there we go. Hopefully, there we go. And power generator back on. And that should, we should be good, really. I, I Just as I say that, we get DD, really. Oh God, I really hope this doesn't mess up the challenge because DD's here, so. Let's see, who is she gonna add? This could be really bad. Apart from the problem we have with DD adding a new animatronic, you can see our power has only gone down 6% and it's halfway through 1 a.m. So this is definitely gonna be the strategy to camera stall Lefty and keep the power generator on while we do this. So let's just do that. You can see he's actually halfway out the doorway. 
but because we're camera stalling Lefty, he can't move. So that is what we're going to have to keep on doing. Do that. Get rid of you. And there we go. And you saw that I used five Faz coins on Rockstar Freddy. What I'm actually going to do is use the heater so that way it gets rid of him and we don't have to spend any Faz coins as well as luring back Ned Bear. So in case Ned Bear is near the duck system, he should be sent to the very back now and we don't have to worry about him. Another thing you noticed about Nedbear is where I put the audio lore. Now, it's really important that I put it near the entrance of the duck system that's open. And that's because I don't need to worry about the other side of the duck system because it's closed. So he can go there all he wants, but he's not going to get in the office. So I want to keep him on the side where he can enter the office. It seems really risky, but it's going to be the best strategy of keeping him away. This is really just a fun little series to get me back into the spirit of Ultimate Custom Night. We're still waiting for Security Breach to come out. So I thought playing this game would just be a fun little way to get myself into playing all the other Five Nights games. But there we go, 6 a.m. And we should get a higher score now. Now I don't know who DD actually added, but we can see here 1,110 points. So DD added a character, but with only the AI of one. So there we go, that really wasn't that difficult once we got rid of the threat that Toy Freddy could get us. But Bears Attack 3 really just amps things up to the next level. You can see here no more animatronics have been added, just the AI has been increased by quite a bit. Actually, it looks like Helpy goes down, which is interesting. Every other animatronic seems to be going up, but Helpy is going down. It really is just going to be the same strategy here. Make sure we Death Coin Toy Freddy, then Camera Store Lefty, and we should be good to go for the rest of the night. Let's get into it. So once again, start of the night routine, let's flip the fan off. Let's go ahead and put you right there. I actually hear some people in the office. So let's go ahead and close that. Let's do all that. All right, let's get these death coins. There's one there. I hear someone in my office. Let's focus on you. I heard you there. Oh, so there, was there was coins there. 10, buy that, death coin you. Oh, I was way too slow doing that. I was way too slow. I need to get back into the rhythm. Death coin, get rid of you. Camera store lefty. Hopefully that is everything. I think I got the duck system all right. Make sure we close both of those. So that way Freddy doesn't get us and no vent animatronic can get us just to be safe. And it should be smooth sailing from here. Really? Oh, why are you here again? Why are you here again? Go away. Go away. No one likes you. Go away. All right, who is she going to add this time? I have a feeling we're not going to get as lucky this time as we did last time, but we're going to have to see. I don't even know who she added last time. I wasn't paying attention to that. So, just going to have to get lucky again. I close both of those. She added Toy Freddy back. She added Toy Freddy back. You little... Well, at least we got ourselves a battery. That's going to help me. Fine, Mr. Hugs. There. Three fast coins here. Ooh, give me that. Another fast coin there. Another one there. Get rid of you two. That's nine. One more. Ten. Get rid of you. Ooh. All right. We need to camera store lefty. There we go. Okay. I think we should be good now. I made sure to use the audio lure on Nedbear. So we just need to close these two doors right here. I'm closing this door here so that way Freddy doesn't jump scare me when I flip up the camera. I don't need to check on Freddy. I just need to close the door on him when I flip up the camera to make sure he doesn't get me. I might not even need to close the top vent up there. I'm only doing it just so Molten Freddy doesn't have a split chance of getting into the office. But if he continues to laugh like that, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And just like that, Freddy knocked at the door and he's gone. Okay, I wasn't paying enough attention to that. So all these duct system animatronics, I'm going to need to learn to turn on the heater before I flip up the camera. So just in case they are on the verge of getting to my office, I can send them all the way back into the system and that way they're nowhere near my office. I need to find these fast coins a bit faster. He's already lost at his game. Well, we're dead as we can. Come on, Freddy. Come on, Freddy. Come get us. There it is. All right, come on, game. Give me one more. There we go. Death coin. Okay. Now, I just need to get rid of you. 
and hopefully I've done everything I need to now. I just need to learn to put on the heater before I flip up the camera. So close those two doors and flip on the heater. So two, heater, reset ventilation. There we go. And it gets rid of Rockstar Freddy as well. My palms are already sweaty doing this and this isn't even one of the harder levels. I'm going to try to pace myself to do two to three challenges an episode. We're going to see how well that works. But already, I'm, I'm not struggling, but it's still a lot to pay attention to just this early in the game. I'm hoping I don't do any silly mistake that ends my run. Just got 10 seconds left. See if I can hold this out. I might not even need to flip up the camera. Let's see if I can hold this out. Three, two, one. Don't do it. There we go. Bears attack. One, two, and three. All done with him. We didn't even get DD that night, which is really, really nice. There we go. So we're ending off the episode with 1,400 points. So that's a really strong start to this series. Bears attack one, two, and three all cleared out. Next episode, we're going to try pay attention one and pay attention two, which already i don't think there's a single animatronic in these modes that's in this so this is going to be a completely different strategy in the next episode i'm really excited to get started with this series i really hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as this game is going to get really intense really quickly but anyway guys i'm going to leave this video here hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure you leave a good odd like on it and if you're new to the channel why not consider subscribing if you do subscribe make sure you hit the bell make sure it's like so you're notified every time i upload and you never miss a video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye